Oh my god, what time is it? I'll have to hurry up and finish my makeup or I need to leave for my Met Gala. Ah. <laughs> Today we're discussing one of the biggest nights this year, I guess. According to who? Can we just start over like for real? Hi, welcome back to Jewels and Times YouTube channel. Linda Evangelista is really boring. So boring. Tourmaline earrings by Anna Puri. I don't even know what to say. Like I don't want to offend anyone. A nice thing I'm gonna say about these earrings, the color matches the color of her eyes very well. Nicole Kidman in Balenciaga. She's wearing Balenciaga and a lot of plastic surgeries. We all want to be young, but we're not gonna be. She has a beautiful bracelet. When the dress is big or complicated or messy or too much, it's good to balance it out with simple jewelry. I'm not saying her bracelet is simple because it's obviously many, 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 many diamonds. 84 carats of diamonds in total. 84 carats? This is fabulous. I do know that she's wearing Harry Winston jewelry. Okay, next one. We have a black swan, AKA Cardi B. Black swan because she's a big black spot in the middle of the screen, okay? Like, <laughs> it's really difficult to describe. This is the skirt. <laughs> the dress is a fucking black hole. But they did put her in the beginning of the article. Yeah. You think she paid them? I don't think she paid them. I just think that the size matters because <laughs> the size of her dress wins tonight. But we can see that she's wearing some diamonds and emerald jewelry and her nails are painted in the same color as her emerald jewelry. I think this is genius. Her jewelry is too much, just like her dress. But knowing Cardi B, it's just fine. It is known that J-Lo never skips an event like that because she loves the camera. She loves it. And the camera loves her, I have to say. Wearing a Schiaparelli dress. It's nice. It has a lot of bling. This is a completely new collection released a few days ago. <laughs> I am looking at my notes because there is no way I can memorize all of it. Boo Boo collection, a new release with a huge diamond earrings of the same collection. Tiffany, how boring. Tiffany is actually really boring. It's always been... No, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so this is an exquisite piece. So there you go, Garden of Time. The theme for this Met Gala, did you know that, is called the Garden of Time. It's supposed to highlight a new exhibition about garments and fabrics and shows how important it is to preserve them, restore them, appreciate them. Speaking of preserving... Um, <laughs> speaking of preserving, do you preserve your jewelry well? Because we kind of like to do that. We, I mean, jewels and times are... Who are we? <laughs> We have an online shop <laughs> that is called Jewels and Times. And a wind tour. Oh my god, I think we should immediately check what jewelry she's wearing. Vintage SJ Phillips Natural Diamond Jewels. Let's try to guess which era it's from. <laughs> what do you guys think? I see that she's wearing two necklaces at the same time. Anna, so greedy. Anna Winter is the oldest person attending that gala, so she's wearing the oldest jewelry. Are you telling me this is the way it's gonna work? <laughs> ah, okay. Hello, Pamela Anderson. Are you still not wearing makeup? Because you know that she did uh, that magazine cover with no makeup, which we all appreciated. But I think that in this particular case, she is wearing a no makeup makeup. You know, like I woke up like this kind of thing. Well, I woke up like this too. So she had some really fun night in the hay <laughs> and some got stuck in her hair. So white diamonds by Pandora. Also let grown? Actually, let grown is not a shameful thing. It's not and it is. <laughs> let grown stones are not a bad thing. It's a good thing for some. 
But because we at Jewel sometimes love vintage jewelry and antique jewelry, of course we love to deal with real natural stone. The event is supposed to be talking about the garden of time. Time is the key word here. Time. Lab grown goes beyond modern jewelry. <laughs> Lab grown is as modern as you can get in jewelry, so we do not approve that. However, I have to tell you that the way she wears it, whoever styled it, good thing. Her dress is kind of like messed up, the hay is sticking out of her hair. The fact that this, the Pandora is there. Let's not shame non-high jewelry brands. <laughs> I, I didn't even know that Pandora had anything to do with gems. Why don't we know anything about this little rouge? It's like she got shot. And the diamond blood is dripping. Okay, Pamela Anderson. Who do you want to see next? And okay. What's with Swarovski? Like, they're trying to cover everyone with their crystals these days. Have you seen uh, Doja Cat uh, being completely covered with uh, red Swarovski diamonds? Full body, full face, everything, everything. Like, it took hours and hours to do that. Swarovski, stop covering people! <laughs> I do like the design coloring on dark skin. This really light silver-ish. So the outfit is entirely Swarovski, decorated with Swarovski crystals. It's paired with a high jewelry necklace from the brand's created Diamonds Galaxy collection. So these pieces, the necklace and the ring and the earrings is also Swarovski. It looks really, really good. Really? I think it's ugly. Nah. nah. So it because looks cheap to me. Really? I like Swarovski crystals, I don't know why. Vogue website is giving us 263 looks. Of course, we're not gonna cover all of them because it's ridiculous. Some of these celebrities I don't even know. Look at this jewelry. What's going on? <laughs> Who invited Vera Wang? Why is she so anorexic? Ooh la la! Do you like Chloe Sevigny? This reminds me of favorite. Yeah. This is just like from favorite. She is definitely wearing theme appropriate dress. Oh my god, it has hair on it. <laughs> Her dress has hair on it. Real hair. Flowers made of hair. Amazing. Very interesting necklace and earrings by Anna Kuri. Anna Kuri. I have to learn what the correct pronunciation is. It's really cool. It has a huge diamond and it goes really well with her hair. But the jewelry is not vintage. Ashley Graham was one of the hosts. She was hosting the red carpet or shall I say moldy carpet? Can we like say a couple of words about that? It is a moldy carpet. Who the hell decorated the stairs? It looks like my bread after a week's of staying in my kitchen. You look like a dominatrix, but a nice one. No interest in jewelry though. Boring. Um, Kendall Jenner. I mean, she's a nice girl, but she's not wearing jewelry. To many people on this molded carpet, I want to say, where's your jewelry? Moving on. Next we have Gigi Hadid. I don't want to talk about her dress because it's quite ridiculous, but we do know that she's wearing Chopard. Let's see closer. This is a pretty simple, a very elegant necklace though. It looks like it has two lines of diamonds. It's nothing special, but it fits with the dress. It does. Because the dress is too much. The dress is a mess, let's be honest. It's a good way to compliment a messy dress with very simple, elegant jewelry. Good job, Gigi! Jewelry is kind of underestimated. Most of fashion events look at the dresses. They forget that most celebrities wear really expensive and unique earrings, rings, necklaces, huge diamonds, just like me. Question from the audience, do they actually own it? No, no. This is a myth. Many people actually think that celebrities own all of the jewelry, but no, 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 no. Big brands loan their jewelry to celebrities to promote themselves. Sometimes brands loan not directly to celebrities, but to stylists 
and then stylists give them to celebrities. It depends. And sometimes a certain celebrity is an ambassador for a certain brand. And in that case, of course, they're going to be wearing that brand's jewelry to every big event like that. So. So you don't own your jewelry either today? Yeah, I loaned it. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually a keychain. Alia Pak. She's an Indian actress, an Indian brand of dress. It's all embroidered by hand. This beautiful embroidery also includes precious gemstones. Really has emeralds, sapphires, tourmalines and pearls on the dress. First of all, imagine how heavy it is. Do you think they're going to remove the stones after the Met Gala? I hope not. This is a masterpiece and I have to say that it's a representation of an Indian dress, right? It's a sari. It is definitely made within the theme of the event. So I really, really like that. She's also wearing jewelry by an Indian designer, Sabaya Sachi. I know that Indian jewelers, Indian jewelers, the best when it comes to big, opulent style, complicating designs, interlacing things, and the use of many, many different gems. Of course, that country is filled with huge, precious gems. They can afford to do that. But this is sick. Earrings are huge. The headpiece is huge. Is it really a ruby? Is it really an emerald? It's unbelievable. Just look at that. Look at that. I don't even have jokes about it because everything I see here is beautiful. The girl is beautiful. Her jewels are beautiful. Her dress is full of precious gemstones. 